Hi! So um, in this video I'm going to take a look at the sewer and the composter block. So let's go ahead and switch to first person mode. Now I've built a little setup here. Basically what we have is uh, this little uh, grass area with a sewer block here in the middle which is connected using um, using some liquid ducts to this uh, portable tank here. Now this tank is then connected to the composter here which also has this uh, redstone energy cell next to it to power it. So first off we're going to take a look here at the sewer block. Now the sewer block was originally called the uh, sewage collector and basically what it does is it collects the um, the droppings of uh, friendly mobs like cows which you might be keeping in some sort of an animal pen so in this case this is what I've built to contain my in this case cows of course you can also put sheep in here and uh, some other mobs a uh, hostile mob as far uh, as far as I'm aware do not generate sewage so sewage is a liquid which you can um, get from this so then basically what sewage collector does is it will either store the sewage in its internal buffer on the side here or it will output it into a uh, an adjacent pipe uh, in this case I've used a liquid duct but of course you, uh, you can also use build craft pipes now I'm going to spawn a cow here and uh, you might notice nothing is happening well uh, the cow has to be on top of the block for it to actually generate uh, sewage so to go down here as you can see this is filling up with sewage quite nicely now my factory loaded uh, does offer upgrades for the range of blocks and in this case I've got an iron upgrade here if you put it in there it will start collecting sewage from a radius of two blocks rather than just uh, the mobs that are standing on top of the sewer so now what we want to do is uh, get our crescent hammer here and switch over this liquid duct and now we have the sewage flowing through there into our tank so you don't uh, need a redstone signal or anything to retrieve the, um, the liquid from the sewer block uh, in the case of buildcraft of course you will also not need a redstone engine to pump it out it will um, uh, well, the sewer block will insert the liquid directly into the uh, the pipes that are connected to it. So now over here we have our um, portable tank filling up. Of course, this will work with any type of tank, so also regular buildcraft tanks or sidecraft multi tanks, and of course iron tanks from uh, railcraft as well. And uh, so basically, what we want to do is get this in the composter now. First of all, I'm going to explain what this uh, what this is exactly. So, basically, the composter is a block which turns sewage into something you can actually use because sewage uh, is a fairly useless liquid, but you can use the composter to turn it into industrial fertilizer, which can be used in uh, other machines. There is a mine factory loaded machine which allows you to uh, grow crops uh, rapidly, and it uses industrial fertilizer to uh, increase the, the growing speed of your crops. However, it can also be used uh, with the ore dictionary or uh, I know fertilizer dictionary <laughs> to, um, to convert it uh, into um, fertilizer from industrial craft or forestry. So uh, it is in there, so it can be quite useful. Uh, this is a fairly easy way to produce fertilizer. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pump this into the composter here as you can see it's filling up with sewage now and we have uh, work going here and it will be outputting the industrial fertilizer in an adjacent inventory or just spitting it out if there's nothing connected to it so do note that uh, the composter requires energy unlike the sewer um, and of course any type of energy will do for example uh, I've connected a redstone energy cell here and um, that works but you can also use for example uh, industrial craft EU's now uh, another note is you can 
put the uh, the composter right next to the sewer the sewer will then input the uh, the sewage directly into the composter but uh well it's usually more convenient to use some piping i'm going to spawn some more cows here so uh we can generate sewage more rapidly so basically that's how this system works now one more thing i would like to show you guys is uh what you uh can also do with sewage which uh <laughs> i i wouldn't really recommend but uh okay so sewage uh, you can of course put it in a bucket like any liquid but you can also place it down in the world so also directly from a bucket so um yeah i'm going to get me some uh, glowstone bricks here so i don't have to walk through this stuff because you you all well, you don't really <laughs> want to be touching sewage right all right so i'm going to quickly box this in so now over here we have a <laughs> little sewage reservoir and uh, you might be noticing i have some particle effects going on that is because you when well when you come in contact with sewage you get the hunger the slowness and uh, slowness and the poison effect from it so quite nasty stuff um so you do take damage because of the poison now aside from that and uh, i really don't know why you can do this but you um can use a straw now if you uh, are familiar with this straw it allows you to drink liquids directly from the world so you can drink uh, water lava um so the vanilla liquids and of course you can also drink every mine factory reloaded liquid including sewage so let's see what happens if we drink this so unlike before you don't get the hunger effect but you do get a uh, really nasty slowness and poison effect and also the nausea effect now so another thing you can do with sewage but i wouldn't recommend it so let's just uh, quickly solve that by drinking some milk here okay guys so that's basically what these blocks do um, it generates a nice amount of industrial fertilizer and of course you can uh, build as many sewers as you would like to increase the yield of your production so uh, yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please rate and subscribe and uh, i will see you guys in the next one